Previously on Fly with the Guy. This is the end of our time here in Milan. We're coming to the end of the charter experience, so I will not be coming back. Made it to Zanzibar, Tanzania. This was supposed to be a through flight. It still technically is a through flight, but they switched around the catering. Violi <laughs> with tomato sauce. Can you tell we serve ravioli with tomato sauce? But it's also giving me an opportunity to pull out the clothes for my deadhead tomorrow. I've been trying to make my wallet fold all day. Cashing in my dreams, big payout. Underneath my money tree, big shade. Oh, freezing away from the sun. Good morning, freaking flyers. What's up? So it's our second day here, up all night, overslept, slept through breakfast. <laughs> so yeah, here we are. We have a 8.15 van tonight, so let's see if we get into, I'm about to join some um, colleagues for a stroll on the beach. I think they wanna buy some stuff, maybe get massages, somebody wants to ride a camel, all the things. Currently in the gift shop and I think I want a big five shirt. So I would have purchased from the ladies on the beach, but they only took cash. I didn't have any cash. But I can swipe this card. I just want a scarf. Hey, hey freaking flyers, so it's been a great day. Our time here is up. Um, I just got out of the shower. Amazing day relaxing around, I think you all saw pretty much what we did, but we're gonna eat as a group one last time for dinner. 6.30 reservations before we leave today. Almost all packed up. So these were the sandals that I had near the beach. So those are the ones with sand. So I just put them in a shower cap. And then this is my swimwear for today. So that is also in a shower cap because it's wet. I've reconfigured everything for my deadheading flight. They're letting us check two bags. I'm just gonna check them both and just go on the plane with my carry-on tote. So I took all of the unnecessary and heavy stuff out of there to put here and here. So I'm just trying to balance everything now. I have my clothes that I'm gonna be wearing right there. And I don't know, my work coat is bigger, but I don't want to hold it. <laughs> I think I'm going to hold this coat. And then I will pack up this one and this one in here. And I also have to check that bottle of bubbly. bubbly. But wait a minute now, how is this going to fit? Anyway, I did mention a deadhead. So I'm at the end of my charter trip. Technically, tomorrow is the last day. We are not going back to Milan, though. Initially, on my original roster, I was deadheading Mombasa to Nairobi, which is one hour, and then from Nairobi to JFK, which is 14 hours. It has completely changed as of, like, someday last week. I didn't even pay attention to it because it was irrelevant. But now it's just dawning on me how much we have to do. So we're going to go from Mombasa to Dubai, which is a five hour flight, red eye, and then we're gonna go from Dubai to JFK, which I think is like 15 hours. But somebody else is paying for it, and I'm the per diem clock is still running, and we get full pay for deadhead. So, what am I gonna do? Collect this money. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> great experience, but um, yes, I'm probably gonna be late for dinner, so let me get myself together and Get ready to get up out of here. All right, made it back from dinner, all dressed. I have on all black, you know, very brand and aesthetic. I also have my favorite sweatshirt 
that I'm going to layer with once we get to the app. It's too humid to put it on now, but I like to wear this on the plane. Bags are all set. I got everything that I need in there. I'm keeping out this coat um, because it will be winter when I get back to New York City. So I want to have that with me so I don't have to go digging through my bags at baggage claim because everything is getting checked all the way through to New York. So let's go home, y'all. We are going home. And then we'll debrief about this whole experience. Made it to the airport one more time, got all the bags checked. We are deadheading on Kenya Airways to Dubai and then Emirates to JFK. So it's supposed to be a long night, morning, and day of <laughs> flying. 10 o'clock at night right now. We land at 5 a.m. in Dubai and then we leave at like 8.30 again for a 15 hour flight. And we get there like two in the afternoon. It's my classmate Amelia and Barbara. We're all here. Everyone's exhausted. 21 days. It's been 21 days. We're ready to go. I think everyone has kind of reached their cap, but boarding has started. I'm not in a rush to go because I have an aisle seat, so I don't have a bag that has to go in the overhead van, so I don't need to rush to get on the plane to sit and wait. I am um, deadheading, so I'll introduce myself to the crew, let them know that I'm crew, and um, yeah, that's gonna be that, so let's go home. Thank you. They done kicked me off the air jet bridge. I guess because I'm sitting in the back. So they told me to come down to the ramp and board from the back. So I ain't mad. You'll need to fasten your seatbelt for takeoff. To fasten it, he left his coat on the plane so he had to turn around and go all the way back and ask the people to please go back on the plane and look for his coat because this is a nice rolling coat and he need it when he get to New York me that's how my day is going good morning A couple of days, many, many hours later, I'm back in New York. Oh, please. The charter trip was amazing, but Lord knows I'm worn out. I need every bit of these 10 weeks of vacation that I'm about to be on. Like, no work for me. Well, no flying. Charter trip was great. If I have the chance to do it again, I will absolutely sign up for it. If I have to leave commercial flying, I'm going straight to charter life. Like, <laughs> I'm going to a charter airline if I ever leave commercial again. But that is that I saw. I'm about to edit the vlog for this vlog I believe if I can get that out to you all Sunday and yeah I'm gonna chill out I'm Brandon I'm a guy who flies thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all the next time